Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Orvel. We are focusing now on four people. Cassandra Watergate, currently in custody. Abraham Goldfels, uh, the professor of media ethics, currently retired without uh, any information about his current uh, position or, you know, well-being or whatever. He, he's just gone. We don't know anything about him. But I'm not surprised about it. He, one of his books was about uh, keeping away from the net, so he probably knows what he's doing. Then there's ex-lovers Juliet Carrington and Harrison O'Donnell. They had a conversation some few moments ago about the broken web page of the fall. We're still waiting for them to fix it. I wonder what would happen there, who would attack them in this way. Anyway, the national opinion shut the Pargesian border. So the nation is next to Pargesia. That makes sense because, you know, there's war going on. By Harrison O'Donnell. This is his, uh, his, you know, column. And what is it? Oh, that's the TNB. Wow. I didn't realize that. <laughs> he is actually writing for the national, national newspaper. This time in the National Opinion column, Harrison O'Donnell argues why the border, border to the park guest needs to be closed. I'll go and spill the beans right away. Shut the border between us and the park guest. Now, will you, please? Can't anyone see what's happening there? I mean, are you blind? Take a look at Triffwood, for instance. The situation there seems to be escalating yet again. 2008 much? And just like then, the nation will let itself get dragged into the conflict. Just like then, the Pargesians will see the nation and not as a friend who does the best to de-escalate the situation, but as an opponent who invades and seeks cooperation through force. History keeps repeating itself, that's certainly nothing new. Safety of any citizen is of utmost importance. That has been the party's promise ever since 2009, and ever since it has been working like a charm. He supports the governmental position. I'm quite surprised about that. Until now, that is, as some self-proclaimed benefactor of the opposition claims that borders are meant to be open to possible refugees. If I didn't know how we suffered already nine years back, I would agree without a doubt. I would walk out there and welcome them personally with arms wide open. But I do remember perfectly well. Though my name isn't Nostradamus, let me foretell something. We will see a rise in acts of terrorism in the very close future. Who knows, maybe next week a bomb will go off in the middle of Fairview or Bonton. Don't you pretend not to have been warned when that happens. Huh, this is really interesting. I don't think this is a coincidence. Hmm, yes, I read the article. That was strange indeed. And with the bombings now, I don't think that this is... I wonder what it's in conflict with. Let's check his emails. I think we'll learn quite a lot from that. ACU. Knock knock Harrison. Seems I caught you pants down of, on that little page of yours. Confused? Well, that's fine. You don't know me and I like to keep it that way. But I know a lot about you, media punk. If you knew what I know, what do you know about what this little group of yours did? You would find it just as hard to ignore that two bombs might just carry your name tag. Get what I'm talking about, right? So the righteous hacker initiate... What? So the righteous hacker initiate will expose all information I got on you. Might interest the cops, won't it? I have no love for the government, but I will do what I must, so give me one good reason not to do, and I might reconsider. It's being blackmailed. Well, okay, that's certainly interesting. Oh great, now there's a hacker involved in all of this, because the situation wasn't bad enough as it is. I wonder what this is about. So do I. Uh, we have an answer from Harrison O'Donnell to initiate. Hey, wise ass. This is the most pathetic blackmailing attempt I've read in a long time. You want the damn good reason not to call the cops? I can give you free. First, you hacked my site, i.e. my web server. Last time I checked, this was highly illegal. Something about glass houses and stones. Second, I don't get what you want to have found. 
I don't get what you want to have found out about me. True, our protests didn't always go as planned, but since you claimed to know so much about me, you should know that this was hardly my fault. What I wanted is all in my blog. Not a word about fucking bombing people, only grabbing attention. That you never even found that, huh? Where are your mad skills, hacker boy? <laughs> I'll throw you a breadcrumb so you don't feel too miserable. My Nick. I'm the... I'm the wrong person to mess around with. Leave my page alone. Row it back and then don't dare touching it again. I will get you. Promise. And all the confirmation invoice. Hello Mr. O'Donnell. Thank you for shopping at... Semira... Semira Miss Flowers. We hereby confirm your order. The following products. Bouquet. Lovely with tag to Angela. The total has already been subtracted from your bank account. Okay. That's important. The deliver is ready to be picked up from Semiramis Flower Store Bondon City this afternoon. Have a very nice and florid day. So who the hell is Angela? Yet another woman in his life? Seems so. We have... Okay, Angela. We got new information, but we don't know who she is. I like how it puts Abraham Goldfels in the middle of it. Okay, so this is all from the listener. Now let's check the reader. Or the reader, not the reader. Hancock's writing on the wall. This is blog post. Juliet's timeline. Did she upload? Juliet Carrington. When I learned about Stavigan this morning and that two people had been killed, I felt devastated because I felt responsible. I have spent five years of my life at the university. I even organized a peaceful protest at the Stavington campus. It has been the center of my life for a while, and to see terrorists pervert this place for the foul reason strikes my heart. I feel truly sorry for anyone concerned. Find the protest. Let's check his bank account. Welcome to FBTN Online, Mr. O'Donnell. So, we have paid for the... He, or he has paid for the flowers. Uh, the National Beholder Publishing. People's Drug and Pharma, People's Drug and Pharma, People's... It's interesting, he's a... Very frequent customer and, and drugs and pharma. You have house, either he values his hygiene, or it might as well be material needed to wash away a freedom material or uh, freedom memorial. He got three and a half thousand dollars from TNB. Well, he's working for them, but holy crap, three and a half thousand bucks. Life Trust Health Insurance. Owns two health insurances. That's in interesting. A guy's age planning on doing something dangerous, perhaps. Easy fit on demand. Supermarket. Calm down. They're from the technology marketplace. Interesting. Available balance. Is there anything more? Hmm. Your latest login. I think we reported everything, didn't we? Last for the days. I don't think there's anything here that. I can do more. Okay, now it now it disappeared. Fine. Headlines. Is this a new Watergate scandal? Watergate Pharmaceutical CEO Bruno Watergate and wife Alice investigated for accounting fraud. Watergate family, owners of the eponymous nation's largest pharmaceutical company, are suspects in an investigation for corruption. Their offices have been raided and internal documents as well as PCs and other electronic devices have been confiscated by the police. Reports state that a hint originating from a completely unrelated case sparked the investigation which suggested that the company has been manipulating their financial reports. The extent of the fraud claims remain 
unknown at this time, as does the face whether the executive power couple are directly involved in the allegations or were aware of the fraudulent practices. I <laughs> like his, his face. Like, what the fuck is happening? Okay, we have a listener. Security warning. Unrecognized access to account. Dear Mr. O'Donnell, your FTB and online banking account has just been used from an unrecognized device. Unrecognized operating system, browser, and location. Not recognized this activity. Review your recently used devices in your FTNB online banking account now. We are sending you this because we take security very seriously and we want to keep your update on important actions in your bank account. We were unable to determine whether you have used this browser or device with your online banking account before. This may occur when you sign in from the first time on a new computer, phone, or browser. When you use the browser incognito or private browsing mode, or remove your cookies, or in case someone else is accessing your account. Shit. They ratted us out. Can we... Uh, I guess we can throw a dividend, can we? Uh, the only thing that remains to be read now is the wall of text. The Hancock's blog. I'm looking forward to this one, because the dude is a legend. <laughs> Boston Liberator and Professional Douche. How many posts does he have here? Holy crap, a lot. Mall of text. So, let's look into this blog, shall we? Sorry for that, another phone call. So, we're looking at the blog of Hancock. November the 5th, 2013. No, 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 fucking no. The perfect safety of the individual is our ultimate goal. We have stated so before our elections in 2009 and we will stay true to our promise. To be able to provide this, we will again greatly increase surveillance measures. Those words came from the glorious majesty herself, Miss Catherine Delacroix. Lady security this very morning. I cannot even find the words for how mind-boggling or stupid the government plan is. Hmm. I really wonder what this guy's current position is, but this is this is old and it's not really in conflict. Let's turn on our brains for a second and think. What do people value most these days? Freedom, of course. The freedom to say stupid things on the internet. The freedom to choose between a trillion cell phone brands. The freedom to walk around with the most ugly haircut ever sculpted. If safety is what everyone is longing for so much, go walk yourself into a barn. Because taking risks is part of living your life, you idiots. I'm telling you, the next step that the government will take would be to stop citizens from doing things before the thought has even popped up in their hands. Hats. Minority Report, everyone. Okay. Um, anything else would have come as a surprise. That's true. Thus, there will be no more freedom to choose. No freedom whatsoever. If there is any hope left for this country, that's how his post from January 19, 2014 starts, it lays with its people and is resembled my every freely thinking mind, every individual on this fucked up place that is of this fucked up place that is willing to switch on their brains. Safety is a lie, nothing but a buzzword used to cause fear and take control from you. If you don't get that, you might as well turn into a remote controlled zombie and say bye bye to free will. Thing is, people love staying blind as long as they have the illusion of safety. So what I need now is a way of getting this truth in everyone's head. Hmm. You kinda like this picture. Hancock. August 20th, 2014. They've grown really fond of the idea to start a band. Maybe call them Enemy of the State or the Most Wanted. Music is an excellent way to add the spice of emotion needed in order to make important messages stick in your mind. And hell, I'm ready to be a rock star. I already live in a trailer anyway. <laughs> so I might as well go for the full gutter punk life. Now we need to find the trailer. Oh, come on, can you please get more stereotypical anti-social? <laughs> 
So would you like more? Enemy of the state or the most wanted? Or maybe something else? Anyone willing to join? After all, I can't do it all by myself. I mean, I could, but so will rock stars are even lamer than Dime Front. March 3rd, 2015. Run around naked, eat chocolate pudding from a diaper, insult your mom on timelines. It's mind-boggling how anything, no matter how mundane, would generate attention these days. As long as it's not normal, a constructive society that doesn't make sense by the way, and there's a camera around, you can be sure we will hear about it. The ever-present cameras are one reason this site exists, at any rate. Everyone loves the sound of quick tsunamis in the morning. Already got a nice plan of my own. As soon as I get myself a handful of like-minded people, we're going to occupy the friggin' elitist university stelligan. That's for sure. I even organized a peaceful protest at Stelligan campus. I bet we could scare those cardigan-wearing conformists a great deal by just showing our ugly faces. Or how I'd love to see them running. Hmm. Well, let's put it in for him. Freedom Plaza and Stavigan. Very well. It is a bad one, exactly as we suspected, but we still have no idea about the third location. You need to be diligent now. Wives might hang in the balance. In the worst case, that we cannot determine the location on time. Well, I might have to conduct an interrogation with Miss Watergate. I want to avoid it though. She's behaving pretty defiantly, I've been told. Looking at what you found so far, I think I might have enough information to put some pressure on her. August the 2nd, 2015. Hell yes, it is happening. After years, my plan is finally taking shape. It even has a name. Thought. Finally, a counterpart to the radical reigning of totalitarian surveillance. And I'm glad you have a capable companion in this. One who came up with the best idea for a demo ever. Not going to tell you, it's a surprise. I can only urge you to join us in our aim to unleash this pitiful, pathetic, wannabe democracy of a country from its shackle. Uh, for freedom is not free in a place where every move is observed and analyzed. Help us to make freedom free again. Hmm. Knock knock, Harrison. The thoughts are free once again. We're not done yet, you and me. But first on, I must turn to another. Really? I don't know Harrison. Outskirts camping wanton. One camping lot plus Wi Fi. Aha! So this is his address. Come on. Outskirts camping. This is one a good place, but I guess it's cheap. So, the blog is free, but I'm interesting. The wall of text still contains something. Oh, let's leave a message. The Elias man. The government is scanning all the websites for the potential threats. They make people disappear that spread rebellious ideas. What? They make people disappear. They make the people that spread rebellious ideas disappear, I think, and that's supposed to say. It is vital that people like you show the courage and write about this truth. A heartfelt thank you. I know they're fucked up, but you, man, should put on your tinfoil hat. <laughs> hey, I like him! <laughs> I really like what you're doing here. I can relate to you being fed up with the government so much. We must act now. Want to meet sometime, Hancock. On some occasions, I deeply question the purpose of this message page. This is one of them. Goldfells, dear Hancock, May 2nd. By pure coincidence, I stumbled upon your website. Frankly, your thinking and your attitude to get other people think alike was quite an impression on me. I'm looking for people willing to join a debate club called The Thought, and I think your presence could really liven up the discussion. Dear Goldfells, I didn't know where you got the real impression I would be willing to join some debate club. I'm already debating here all day, on my own. This country needs change. Freaking action. If you have this to offer that as well. If you have this to offer 
that as well not me a pm don't spam thanks a ton so i feel really confused now is this for a block an activist group or a debate club perhaps all three what's a group I like the idea that you want want to start a band. What about the name The Targets? The Targets sounds kind of lame to me, Maria. But thanks anyway, I might consider that. Your article sucks, lol. That rocks. You should go and write poetry instead. While well, he was staring at the flashing monitor in the dark, all alone in the room that he was allowed to inhabit by his parents' mercy, and only dressed in his dotted shorts that his mom had dis disposed this morning, he finished the words, your article suck, with a strike of the enter key, and in that moment he was content, for he never had written anything more intelligent or relevant in his entire life. By the way, your grammar sucks. <laughs> So what's new? We found something related. Topic Debate Club Invitation. Campus Live Online. Started by Gold Files on June 18th. Dear readers, I would kind of like to invite those who are interested to our newly founded debate club called The Fawn. Our primary discussion will revolve around how people can best be made aware of topic in the age of information overflow. First, we will brainstorm and discuss various options. Then, depending on participation and interest of attendees, we will perform practical exercises and test sessions for empirical research. The FAD meetings are scheduled to take place every Thursday night at 7 p.m. sharp. Meetings will take place at a cafe Chestnut Complex Dean on Stubbing in the campus. No registration is needed. Just come by. You can also visit our blog online. It has been fixed. We are looking forward to meeting you and to discuss a topic that is pertinent in our current day lives. Regards Professor Abraham Goldfuss. Rob, student debate club. Ain't nobody got time for that. Debbie R. Hmm. If I find the time after work, I might come around. I am a general law student in my ninth semester. Can I claim any credit points for participating? A minor update. We will have a wonderful guest join us at our meetings. Hancock has oh Hancock has been theorizing ways of political engagement on his independent blog. Hancock's writing on the wall for several years now and is sure to enrich our debate sessions at the BR. Sadly, this is not an official accredited even, I'm sorry. Concern 1. I'm not a student, only here for self-improvement, but the topic really piqued my interest. Am I able to join? And Hancock and concerned. Let's be honest with one another, shall we? The first few sessions were not exactly full, aka fucking empty. So yeah, last thing Ape and me are going to do is give up hope. So we would be glad if you drop by next Thursday. It doesn't matter who you are. We don't care whether or not you're a Stavigan. I'm not just a guy with ideas who maybe is lucky enough to realize some of them soon. So, Nina, you will be very welcome at thought. And Nina? Certain one. Oh, my name is Nina, by the way. <laughs> I'm stupid. At Apes. Thanks a ton for the warm welcome. Oh, this is a wrong person. So, Harrison got some Nina in. Nina. So, there is another member that we haven't heard of yet. I request clearance to make her a target and get a green light. So, Nina. I'm gonna Angel and Initiate. Uh, the debate cup invitation. There's something more on here that I haven't concerned one. Oh yeah, that's gonna be Nina, I think. Yeah. So her Elias is concerned one, but I already saw that somewhere. Not a strange Elias. Did she? Freedom is unfree. No comments. I saw that that hmm. 
I'm not sure where I saw it. Hmm. I saw it somewhere. The concerned. Concerned one. Music of artists. Can't see. Hmm. Not sure, but I'm pretty sure we saw it somewhere. 